Hey all, just wanted to let you know that this video is spoiler free, so if you have not read the Wheel of Time books, you can still watch this video. Okay? Okay. Amazon Prime had a tough task ahead of them when making The Wheel of Time. As an adaptation of the mammoth-sized book series by late author Robert Jordan and concluded by Brandon Sanderson, Amazon Prime had its work cut out for them when it came to bringing the series to life on screen. After all, the series is 15 books long, counting the prequel novel, and it features a plethora of characters, a culturally diverse world with a deep amount of lore, an intuitive magic system, an expansive epic story, and kids' smoking some dope Two Rivers to back. And with all of these elements, there was a lot that Amazon Prime and showrunner Rafe Judkins needed to get right. A lot of ideas and concepts that needed to be translated well on screen so that the TV series could capture the essence of what everyone loves about the books. And judging by the first teaser trailer, the team have done a great job so far. The series certainly appears to have nailed the look and tonal feel of the books. The actors look like they're embodying their characters through both appearance and performances, there are a lot of amazing intricate looking sets, and it looks like the series was crafted with love and care from those that respect the books. And the trailer just all around looks terrific. With all these elements though, there is one attribute that really stands out about the trailer. One detail that permeates almost every frame of the teaser. See, the teaser trailer's most notable aspect is that it sets up the Wheel of Time's world to new viewers. Through its monologues and visuals, the preview effectively streamlines some of the deeper aspects of the books so it can be digestible to a casual audience that is unfamiliar to the series, essentially acting as fantasy Pepto-Bismol. This is good because the Wheel of Time books are complicated to the uninitiated. I mean, there's f***ing 15 of them. But the trailer does an admirable job of briefly informing new people about this world. From the trailer, we get the impression that it takes place in a renaissance or a medieval setting, i.e. sword and bows are primary weapons, people travel by horse, and most governments are monarchies, because the bouge have got a bouge. And on the more fantastical side, the trailer emphasizes the series magic. Magic called the one power that only women can safely use. Magic works differently for men. Men can use the one power as well, but they inevitably go insane. So that leaves the female users of the one power on top of the socio-political food chain. The most talented of these women make up the Aes Sedai, an order of various magical women who are pretty much the most powerful and influential people in the world that wield a ridiculous amount of political power. Because magic and shit. Admittedly, the first Wheel of Time trailer didn't go into as many details about the Aes Sedai as I just did. Hell, it didn't even say the name Aes to die, but from the trailer alone, the casual viewer gets the impression that these are powerful women who make up a powerful organization, and that they are badasses. And the trailer really leans into the fact that women in this series wield the most power and influence, very much striking a girl power tone. This was the correct move from a marketing standpoint. After all, most fantasy series are complete sausage fests and dickle pickles with patriarchal power structures, or they feature a gratuitous amount of sexually exploitative violence. Sure, many of these movies and shows eventually featured women who show strength, intelligence, and courage, but many of the women in these series didn't start out strong. For example, the Lord of the Rings trilogy mostly lacked women that impacted the overall narrative in a meaningful way, save for Eowyn in the last book. And Game of Thrones was, well, Game of Thrones. Sexual violence and exploitative rape scenes were just a walk in the park for that show. See, the cluster that was Game of Thrones' worst episode, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. Because, you know, hardly the best version of female representation there. The Wheel of Time, however, is different. The series starts with the Aes Sedai being the most powerful people on the continent. They are magic-wielding women who influence the world's politics, culture, and are the realm's most important line of defense against the minions of the Dark One. And unlike other fantasy series, women being in power in the Wheel of Time is the status quo. They start the series in high social stature. Never mind the tropey arc about women gaining power in a man's world, that is pervasive in a lot of fantasy stories, the women already have the power here, which is ultimately a very interesting and new take on a televised fantasy world. It is quite unique, and the trailer was very much in the right for emphasizing this big selling point. With that said though, the male characters are still very strong in the series. In fact, they are some of the most important characters in the books and have great arcs, and admittedly I would have liked to have seen more 
more of the male characters in the trailer, particularly Rand, Matt, and Perrin, who are key players in the series. They are fundamental to the plot, and I would have loved to have seen more from them. But then again, this is a teaser trailer light on plot details and heavy on establishing the setting, something that is especially important for new viewers being introduced to the Wheel of Time's unique fantasy concepts for the first time. And in that sense, being skimpish on plot details is okay. It is called a teaser trailer, after all. And future previews can give new viewers more details when the show gets closer to release. Well, if Amazon wants to, that is. Additionally, the trailer is just awesome all around. The sets look and feel authentic, the cinematography looks gorgeous, the magical weaves and effects all look good, the actors truly reflect the characters in both appearance and performance, the design of this fade lacking in any sense of oral hygiene is creepy, and the costume design has a nice colorful pop, especially with the Aes Sedai and their color-coded orders. It all just looks cool. Most importantly though, the Wheel of Time trailer is a visual representation of a culminated effort to bring this series to the screen. It's been a long time coming. Robert Jordan first wrote this series over 30 years ago, and Rafe Judkins and the rest of the cast and crew have worked for years to ensure the show honors the Wheel of Time series' legacy. And with this teaser trailer, we the viewers and the fans finally see the tangible results to all the cast and crew's hard work and effort. The Wheel of Time show is real now. It exists. And that is the biggest takeaway here. Alright, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like rating and subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so that you're notified for whenever I release a new video. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think about the Wheel of Time and this trailer. Additionally, please consider checking out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. And speaking of Patreon, I just want to thank my high tier patrons, especially David, Samantha, Devlin, Mom, and Morgan. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Love y'all.